The wonderful city of London was once a pleasure to walk through, but it has been brought to its knees, all in the name of cycling. Until just a few weeks ago, our capital resembled a gridlocked building site. Roads were dug up and rebuilt to make way for a network of cycling superhighways. And it's not just London. In Bristol, segregated cycling lanes have appeared and work on a similar scheme is near completion in Manchester. Plans for expansion in Edinburgh have been met by protests and petitions. While cyclists breeze through the city with little regard for anyone else, roads like this have been reduced to a crawl of traffic. It makes life vile for pedestrians who've had to tolerate an increase in car fumes. Why should cyclists get preferential treatment over pedestrians? What about the very young, the elderly and the disabled? People who may not want to or be able to cycle. People who can't use public transport. Riding a bike is subject to few rules and many London cyclists can't even keep to those, whether it's stopping at a red light or keeping off the pavement. They aren't legally compelled to wear a helmet and there's no MOT for bikes. Cyclists won't even have to use these highways when they're finished. They can still risk life on the open road. I thought that we lived in a democracy, but it seems that in this city, cyclists have more clout than anyone else. Isn't it about time the rest of us stood up for our rights and told cyclists that roads are also for buses, cars, lorries and taxis? But I suspect that cyclists won't be happy until all other forms of transport are eradicated.